Passport July 1982 We were at my aunt's house. The internal war had become a bigger issue than the war against Iraq. Anyone showing the slightest resistance to the regime was persecuted. There must be a lot of people in the opposition in our neighborhood. We hear gunshots every day. To her, stop smoking. The stress I get from every gunshot I hear is much worse for me than the cigarettes. Since he hadn't sent his oldest son to Holland, oh, excuse me, since he had sent his oldest son to Holland, Uncle Taher had had two heart attacks. He was absolutely forbidden to smoke. He was absolutely forbidden to smoke. The butcher told me he's seen kids executed in the street without even having been judged. The shame of it. When I think about it, I'm glad that my son is safely abroad. But with the borders closed, how am I ever going to see him again? The borders were closed for three years between 1980 and 1983. How many times did I say to my wife, quote, come on. Let's join him. She didn't want to. She didn't want to. She invoked her country, her family, etc., etc. Anyway, I'm already 59. But those poor 20-year-olds who get slaughtered, they kill me. They kill me. Uncle Tahir, my Uncle Tahir, was so sad that it hurt to look at him. No one dared to say a word. Some days later. What are you thinking? About Tahir. His son leaving has done him in. I never seen him like that. Can you imagine? A 13, 14 year old child alone in a country where he doesn't even speak the language? J At 14, you don't need your parents anymore. Get real. Up to a certain age? You need your parents then. Later, they need you. You'd be better off without nail polish. You could get arrested. I'll put my hands in my pockets. Pretty stubborn girl, huh? Where do you suppose she gets that? Sometimes it scares me how blunt she is. It'll help her later on. You'll see. I am so lucky to be married to a man like you. You're so sensitive. The kindest man on earth. How can you be insensitive to the woman you love? Ring, ring. It always rings at the wrong time. Good Lord, again! What? Uncle Tahir had just suffered his third heart attack. We were off to the hospital. Red Crescent trucks were pulled up in front of the hospital, calling for people to give blood for the war wounded. There were so many of them. Give blood! Give blood! Give blood! I felt both angry and embarrassed. Once inside the hospital, I felt even worse. I'm looking for Mr. Talashki's room. Talishi. Talishki. Talish E, excuse me. That's three four two, third floor, at the end of the hall to the right. Shh. They threw a grenade. They wanted to arrest some communists who were hiding near our place, and they threw a grenade. Tahir couldn't deal with it. When I came to the living room, he was lying on the floor. He needs open heart surgery, but they're not equipped here. They told me that he has to be sent to England. To do that, he needs a permit. They gave me the name of the hospital director. If he agrees, Tahir will get a passport so he can go. Since the borders were closed, only very sick people, if they had, if they had got a permit from the health ministry, were allowed to leave. It's on the fourth floor, number 406. Only my aunt was allowed in. She had a big surprise. The director was her former window washer. She acted as if, she acted as if she didn't recognize him to avoid offending him. My husband had his third heart attack. He needs medical care outside the country. Hmm. 
We'll do our best. If God wills it, he'll get better. He'll get better. Everything depends on God. I need your authorization so he can get a passport. If God wills it. All that creepy win. All that creepy window washer had to do to become director of the hospital was to grow a beard and put on a suit. The fate of my husband depends on a window washer. Now he's so religious that he won't look a woman in the eye. The pathetic fool. After the director, he went to see the chief of staff. We went to see the chief of staff, Dr. Fatih. Ma'am, we will do what we can. We are terribly trapped. We are terribly strapped at the moment. Look in this room. They're all victims of chemical weapons. The Germans sell chemical weapons to Iran and Iraq. The wounded are then sent to Germany to be treated. Vertebral human guinea pigs. Why are you telling me this? I couldn't care less. I want my husband to get well. Calm down. Calm down, dear. Everything will be all right. Don't worry. We'll be right back. We went to see an acquaintance of my father's, Corso. His brother and my uncle, Anoush, were in prison together during the reign of the Shah. Ebi, the brother of Anoush? Come in, come in. Since they shut down my publishing company, I've been printing fake passports. Big sellers. You want one? Not me, my brother-in-law. When they let him out, my brother started going to counter-revolutionary demonstrations. He told me that the chief of the new executioners was his torturer in the Shah's, in the Shah's prison. He saw it with his own eyes. He said, quote, Corso, Corso, excuse me, wow, I can't read today. Corso, Corso, I can't take any more. I made him a fake passport and he sought political asylum in Sweden. Look, Eddie, a whole month's work just for the strap, just for the stamp. How much time will it take to make a passport? A week. Grrr. You can come in. They're friends. This is Nilufar. Her brother was my messenger boy. They are looking all over for her because she is a communist. I let her stay in my basement. She's 18, the same age as my daughter, Mana Mandana. Kosro's daughter had left with her mother right after the revolution. They've been searching the houses of everyone in her family. This is the only place she's safe. After negotiating a price, the equivalent of about $200, Kosro agreed to make a passport in five days. We went back to the hospital feeling a little better. So, I saw Kosro. He can make a passport for Tahir by Wednesday. He's come too. He wants to see you. See? It's not the cigarettes that did it. It was that damn grenade. Don't upset yourself. Talk about something else. Look at how little Margie is growing up. One day she'll leave and you'll see how hard it is to lose your kids. I have only one wish. And that's to see my son again. One last time. Two days later, Nilufar, the 18-year-old communist, was spotted, arrested, and executed. Khosrow found his house ransacked, fled across the mountains to Turkey, and sought asylum with his brother in Sweden. He never got to make the passport. The Three weeks after these events... Uncle Tahir was buried. His real passport arrived the same day. He never got to see his son.